of being chill in the midst of a pandemic. I want to give honor to today, which is Earth Day, also known as Esteban Day, because everything revolves around the me. Step one, in order for you to be able to chill, take a picture of me. And then use that formula that the guy, Mr. Prince, has developed. Zero plus five equals space. Draw me, paint me, permit me out. And once you have a facsimile of me, kiss me. Basi. I know this is not me. Mm -hmm. But you feel better in the morning. Find the mirror. Any mirror will do. No. Too small for me. I need something larger. Uh, that will do. I want you to look into that mirror and repeat after me. I am beautiful. No. You're not as beautiful as me. Mm, but nonetheless, you feel better in the morning. In three, my little brothers and sisters out there, won't you have a glass of bubble? And if you're too young to drink, juice would do. Now again, your drink is going to be inferior to mine, but that's okay. Remember, you'll feel better in the morning. Okay, Mr. Estevan, thank you so much for your time and coming on out of here today and um, sharing with the people on how to chill. All right, have a good day. Um, I, um, I hope that um, that was uh, helpful and that you garnered something from what Esther Bowman had to say. Hey folks, my name is Steve Prince and I'm the director of engagement at the Muscarelli Museum. Oh, we have a wonderful show lined up for you today. Today, we're gonna to cover the process of making the human ear and our continued exploration and drawing the human head. So y'all ready? Okay, let us get out the materials in which we're gonna need. In order to do this workshop, we're gonna need one, a number two pencil or softer. You're gonna need a piece of paper of any size and you're gonna need an eraser. Remember, in terms of this project, what we're going to do drawing of the ear. I have a little model set up for us, for us to follow along and begin to see the structure of it. Now, let's going back to one of the things that I talked about. It is this idea of just gestalt. Gestalt is this idea of the whole to the part. So when we look at the ear, we want to see the whole structure in which it occupies, the space in which it occupies. And so on my paper, I'm going to make a shape that's very reminiscent to what the whole shape looks like. This being the side of our head, and this being the beginning shape of the ear. 
Now, how do we take that complex element and we begin to simplify it? We want to begin to see the simple structural lines that'll help us to get the shape and the form of the ear, and then we can move into those intricacies of the values of the lights and darks. So one of the first things that I see is on the outer rim, we begin to reshape that. As you can see, it wraps up and around, and then we're gonna begin to shape it like the person's ear, which you're modeling from, and run it around down into the earlobe section. Two, I'd like you to take that line, pull it up, wrap it around, and when you get down towards this bottom section, we're gonna let it trail out. Two, we're gonna take another line shape and we're gonna pull from here because this is gonna to begin to define that concave portion of the ear. So pull it out, and down, and around, and pull it back up again. Three, we're going to define, most of we have a little dip in the top part of the ear, right up there. So we're just going to define it with just a little bit of a shape to begin to figure out the space where we have another concave area in relation to the ear. And then the last step, and you have basically the formation of the ear, is you need the ear cover. So pulling from here, you're going to pull that ear cover over and drape it right on top. And right there, you've got the basic formation of the ear with four basic steps. Now it's time to start putting in the values of lights and darks. So I'm going to use a crosshatch mark with my marker and make these crosshatch marks. Remember, making crosshatching, the more lines you build in different directions, the more density you would get in those particular areas. So I'm going to begin to work on this under portion, pulling the tone, wrapping around, right in the concave portion of the ear, Begin to pull and make the darkness happen inside of there. Make sure you pull some more tone into this area so that you have what is called local value. And then this top portion right here, I'm going to put a little bit of tone in here to get rid of that, that beginning line that we started with. And then right around the top rim of the ear, we're going to put some more tone wrapping around into that region and working our way down. And notice how it gets a little skinnier as it comes down, but you can follow the tone. I'm going to build some more tone. Now I'm going to begin to tease the various lights and darks inside of the ear. Tease them around so that I can get them more accurate. Right around the bottom part of the ear cover, we're going to begin to put some tone inside of there, working our way down to the ear lobe, dragging that right on around, creating those crosshatch marks right on top of that. Pulling up, pull some more tone into this other area, right around that ear rim portion that comes all the way around. And now I'm just going to put some more local value, just create some more tone so the ear just not widen those areas that actually have some tone based on the person's skin color. So pull it around, put some more tone up into this region. And now it's just a matter of going into it and just tweaking those little tones in and around those areas and you're gonna have a pretty accurate ear to put onto your person. No longer do you have to shy away from it because you see that everything is based on a simple structure underneath. It's about finding that simple structure and building on top of it. So after we have that all in, I can continue to draw this more and draw in more detail, soften off those tones. But let us see how it is applied to our head structure. Now, you notice the ear in which I laid in, I also laid on top of it the earring into that portion. So, you see the very simple steps in which we're working with, folks? Next week, we're going to focus on drawing the human hair. And I'm going to show you step by step. And one of the things, I'm going to go back to that concept of the gestalt, seeing the whole and breaking it down to its individual parts. Until then, draw, practice, Repetition, go through the different steps, go back to our formula, the zero plus five equals face, and work from the simplicity stacked on top of itself to build to our complexity. And remember, art is all around you. Must go!
Rally and that 